Good morning, everybody. How are you? Apiary, we've officially carried two healthy babies to term. <laughs> the only baby I'm carrying to term is the Sunsetter. Hi. So, we are building the Plum Sunsetter today. I have tried to stay away from other people's review of this to try and keep mine completely my own thoughts. So, FYI, be aware of that. And also, they didn't send me a build guide. So, if I do something silly, forgive me. Okay? Forgive me. But we are here to build this today. I'm very excited. We are also using banana split switches, which I haven't done before. But here we go. So, they were kind enough to send me out keycaps and switches, which is very nice. I appreciate that. So we will be building them with switches that they lubed. You can't see me. They lubed these switches, not me. So be aware of that. All right. Then we have our badges here. Oh, one more thing really quickly to note. Uh, this is the round one PCB. There will be uh, a change to the USB port for the round two PCB that will ship with this board. Uh, it'll be slightly more recessed. So if that bothers you, be aware of that. We have a palm plate, black palm, love black palm, looks way better than white palm most of the time. Our steps, and here we go, the actual way and board. What color did you get? This is it in plum. All right, so here is our weight. She, she, she. even see it. I'm sorry. Here. Chat. Oh, I am so sad I'm not keeping this. Ooh, look at her. God damn. For reference, here's it versus being Sue. We are going to be building it with the felt. I don't mind felt. I've used felt several times to help with the sound on boards. It does function effectively the same as foam, but it does give a slightly different sound, and I actually slightly prefer it. But just like FYI, we are gonna use that. All right, I'm gonna put the felt on. It's kind of crispy. <laughs> I feel like we can play with the weight, with the stainless weight that they gave us. I really like the aesthetic of the weight that they give us as is. But just so you guys know, you absolutely can swap out this badge. So like they sent me this silver one to swap it out with, or they sent me this gorgeous wooden one. Uh, and then you can also swap it out on the front, as you can see here. So this is also interchangeable as well. So they did pre-apply the gaskets, but you can see those pretty clearly here. So if you're interested in seeing where those gaskets are, and then these little cuts are just alignment points. And then I wanted to show you, so to swap out the weight, you just unscrew these two screws and slot the top accent piece. I think that's the better way to call it, sorry. The top accent piece just slots in there. What is an unlimited group? So an unlimited group buy. Well, first let's explain what a group buy is. A group buy is when a group of people get together to fund the manufacturing of a product in return for a product. Um, it's basically like Kickstarter. And so like somebody comes up with an idea and they're like, hey, I have this idea, but I can't afford to manufacture it by myself. So if you want one, would you be interested in pooling our money as a group and going and making it? And then like paying the designer and the people who help fulfill out of that money as well. As a result of helping fund the actual buy, you do receive a significant discount over the extras that will be purchased as well. And just like as an FII is like a thank you for waiting the manufacturing time, which you normally wouldn't have to wait when purchasing a product. But yes, that is what a group buy is. Unlimited means that uh, they are not limiting the amount of units that can be purchased by that group. So if 700 people say, actually, yes, I am totally willing to help fund this project and wait the six to 12 months that it will take for this to deliver, um, no problem here, take my money. They're like, okay. A lot of group buyers are limited because the people can only handle a certain amount of units. So in order to make sure that the quality control is as is expected and to make sure that everything is fulfilled in a reasonable amount of time because the larger the group buy the longer it will take to manufacture a lot of people will limit it but in this case it means that everybody who wants to have a chance to purchase it has a chance to purchase it here we go pressure fit oh that looks so good 
I'm sorry. That looks so good. <laughs> Can we just take a moment for this? Ooh. Make sure it's all looking good. Again, before I put this together, just a reminder, this is the round one Sunsetter PCB. The USB port will be slightly changed or the USB's recess is going to be changed for the round two. So just keep that in mind. If you don't like how, how recessed or not recessed the port is, there will be changes made before the round two PCB. I'm building with the round one. Is this a cop for you? If you're asking if I personally am going to be buying it, the answer would be no because I'm broke. For the record, Here's your back. Excuse the fingerprints. I am in fact human and not a lizard person and therefore I leave behind fingerprints. There are some people who get offended by that fact. I'm sorry I'm not a lizard person. Um, I will try harder. Um, there's the side. Sorry it's out of focus. I did already show you the side in focus though. Here we go. So this is the Sunsetter. We have swapped out the badge with the wood one. Uh, it has lubed banana splits, not lubed by me. It has the felt mid pad uh, and the black palm plate. And this is GMK Binsu. That sounds like a palm plate in a gasket mounted keyboard with wool felt. <laughs> AKA like my favorite combination ever. So is this a cop? I mean, let me give you a few thoughts. The gasket is, and I can tell what the difference between gasket flex is and plate flex is, just to be clear. Um, the gasket is perfectly flex safe. This is what I expect out of a gasket. Uh, it's very nice. Um, the sound is obviously very good. You can customize it. So that's great. Love that. You... I can't think of any drawbacks, actually. <laughs> I can't think of anything wrong with this keyboard. Uh, it's around two, so it's fairly safe. They've run a group by before. There's lots of color options. Trying to come up with a negative. I cannot. Uh, how do you tell the difference between plate ga flex and gasket flex? Easy, Creho. So, so plate flex... Something that comes in the form of like it twists, if that makes sense. So, versus, um, and it, it might give a bit at where the mounting points are, right? Uh, so it'll sag a bit, but it'll, it'll generally speaking be twisty, actually flexy. And gasket flex, uh, is directly straight up and down. So, after you've typed on things for a while. Uh, you can tell the difference between this sort of flex and this sort of flex. It just, especially when pushing really hard on it, it's kind of hard to tell um, when you're typing, uh, sometimes, depending. But it's really easy to tell when you, like, push on it. Oh, I was going to give you guys some color options. I forgot. Okay, so color comparisons. So here's the 45 ATS Club. And then here's Black Cherry Cerakote. I would say Black Cherry Cerakote is the closest. This plum is very maroony, and even though it looks similar on camera at some angles, it's not, as you can tell. Versus the black cherry Cerakote, which is very similar. Here is the Polygon's plum to compare. This is very magenta. Those are things I can help you with. But there, that's a red versus this. All right. This is super not red. All right, I think that's it then, friends. So I will see you all then, and I hope you all have a wonderful evening. Goodbye, friends.